This is Eric Michaels, and you have tuned in to eHealth Radio, brought to you by eDrugStore.md, the leader in fulfilling medications online for the lowest prices on FDA-approved online medications. Visit eDrugStore.md. On the show today, we are with Matthew Bucklin, who is the creator of the popular natural stop smoking aid, Quit Tea. Matthew is an expert in smoking cessation, and since 2009, he has helped hundreds of people finally quit through his writings, advice, and one-on-one contact with people trying to quit smoking. Matthew, welcome to eHealth Radio. Hi, Eric. Thanks for having me. So everyone knows they need to quit smoking. Is there anything you can tell people that will encourage everyone to finally do that, quit smoking? Sure. You know, there are actually very few people that love to smoke. Um, Most people continue to smoke even even though they know it's terrible for their health because they're afraid to quit. They're afraid that they won't be able to function normally throughout the day if they don't have cigarettes to rely on. Um, they're afraid that the stress will be too much, they won't have any energy, or they'll be too nervous to interact with people without cigarettes. So uh, I have to remind people that it, when you quit, you will be fine. Your life will continue, your days will go on normally, and you'll be better off for quitting. Actually, you'll be better off soon. Um, after you quit, you're going to feel better, you're going to have more energy. You'll sleep normally, you won't smell like cigarette smoke anymore, your skin will improve, and you'll look better. Your lungs recover quickly after quitting, and um, not smoking will not kill you, but smoking might. So the sooner you quit, the better, and you will survive without cigarettes. Well, most people try to quit over and over and over again and fail. Can you shed some light onto the reason for the repeated failure? Sure. There there are a lot of people, the reasons people fail to quit smoking. Um, In the study that we conducted... Uh, we found that people had tried to quit five to six times prior to enrolling in the trial for Quit Tea. Um, and, you know, the, the products they had used had covered the entire range of smoking cessation aids. Um, they, they had used nicotine replacement therapies like the patch or gum or pharmaceutical products like Zyban and Chantix. Some people had quit cold turkey or used natural remedies like herbs or acupuncture and hypnosis. Um, and the reason... Uh, people fail to quit very slightly for each of the products. Sometimes they're not used appropriately, like nicotine replacement therapies, but there is an underlying reason. Um, every time people fail to quit, they don't make the change that's necessary in their lifestyle. When you don't change everything about your life and, and try to be healthier, if you just quit smoking, it makes it very easy to fall back into that old routine and habit that includes smoking. Um, to really be successful, you have to make quitting part of a healthy lifestyle um, that, that avo- includes avoiding people who smoke and smoke-filled areas like bars. You have to eat better, exercise, drink lots of fluids, get hours of sleep, take all your vitamins, uh, and so on. Uh, when you fully commit to living a better lifestyle, uh, quitting smoking will seem easy. So with the New Year's coming up right around the corner, and a lot of people are going to certainly as we've always heard, try to make quitting smoking their New Year's resolution. Can you give all those people some advice about how to make this time a success? Yes, of course. Uh, When people ask me what they need to do to quit smoking, I always tell them they need three simple things. Uh, They need to want to quit. They need desire. They need information and a little help. So you have to want to quit, first of all, or else there isn't a product or a counselor or smoking cessation system in the world that can prevent you from smoking if you want to. So that one's a must. Um, the second is information. When I talk to people who have used Quit Tea, they mostly found it over the Internet, and they told me that this time they had more success because um, they used Quit Tea and they had the Internet for information. They were able to to get advice and tips and talk to people and find support groups. It's incredibly important for someone to research quitting smoking and understand the the process they're going to be going through for nicotine withdrawal. Uh, It helps them mentally prepare and and understand that it's temporary and that everybody goes through it and get all the tricks and tools that help make it easier for you. And that third thing people need is, uh, is a tool. Some people quit cold turkey, but I think it's important to have some kind of help or crutch. And, you know, it could be as simple as a package of raisins. When my mother quit decades ago, that's what she had. Whenever she would want a cigarette, she would just eat raisins. Uh, most people do go to nicotine replacement because it's very easy. It's at the drugstore, and it seems to make sense. It's marketed well. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't work for most people. I've seen 
studies where the success rate's as low as 6%. And, you know, that could be because people misuse them, but unfortunately, you're still hooked on nicotine at the end of, you know, when your patch or gum runs out. Um, so my advice is to find a product that works for you. There's a lot of information on the Internet, a lot of products that are available, a lot of uh, pharmaceutical and natural remedies, and research them and find out what works for you. So with those three things, if you want to quit, if you desire information and a tool, I think you can come up with a good plan uh, for high probability of quitting success. And I, I think people should write it all down in a journal and keep that with them as well. Today we're with the creator of the popular natural stop smoking aid, Quit Tea, Matthew Buckland here on eHealth Radio. The smoking cessation tool you created and sell is Quit Tea. And why does that work and how does it compare to other smoking cessation products? So I came up with the idea for Quit Tea years ago after quitting myself. I hadn't smoked a lot, uh, but I did a detox with herbs and spices. And I remember a month later trying a cigarette for the first time, and it tasted horrible. Um, it made sense to me that there might be some connection between this detox and not enjoying a cigarette anymore. So I started doing research into the herbs and spices that I had used to see if there was anything to it. I realized that the spices I had used uh, desensitized the taste receptors in my mouth. So when the cigarette smoke, when I inhaled the cigarette smoke, it passed over my tongue, and it was no longer pleasant. It actually just sort of, I just felt the burning sensation, and this inspired me to do some research. Um, I, I had the idea that the tea would work well because you could include all the herbs and the, the spices in it would actually go over, uh, touch your tongue, and it would replace that oral hand-to-mouth habit. So I thought a tea was perfect. I researched all the herbs and all the nicotine withdrawal side effects and came up with the, with the ones that I thought would work best. And after some experimentation and testing, I came up with this formula that worked for Quit Tea. And Quit Tea works because it's very simple. It's a boil-in-the-bag herbal tea blend. It'll help you deal with all of the nicotine withdrawal side effects. So when you get stressed, it helps with the stress and anxiety uh, that you feel when you're going through the nicotine withdrawal. The herbs also help detoxify your body and improve your lung function. And one big selling point is that it helps suppress your appetite especially popular with women. Uh, most people that use Quit Tea report little to no weight gain, so that's, that's a good thing. As I said before, it helps you lose your taste for cigarettes, so if you try smoking again, it won't be as pleasant. And I think most importantly, Quit Tea actually helps you break the psychological addiction to smoking. It replaces that habit, that oral uh, hand-to-mouth habit. Making the tea gives you some time away to relax and decompress if you become stressed out and it helps you recondition the, the stress triggers. So when you get stressed out and you would normally reach for a cigarette, um, this helps you recondition your mind so that you go from stress trigger to cigarette to uh, stress trigger to herbal tea. And there are a lot of products out there. Uh, Quit Tea is just one of them. They're pharmaceutical and natural, but Quit Tea is different because it doesn't contain nicotine, caffeine, or lobelia. I think anything with nicotine, you know, may or may not help, but at the end you are still hooked on nicotine and it can be difficult. Caffeine doesn't help and lobelia is potentially toxic. A lot of natural products contain this. Uh, it's not horrible for you, but it's potentially toxic. And I wanted to make sure that everything in Quit Tea is good for you because it can be consumed in high doses. People drink up to five cups a day or more. And you should be able to drink as much quit tea as you want every time you feel a craving for cigarettes. Matt, can you tell us about the quitting process, what people can expect or what people should know as they are attempting to quit? Sure. There are times when it will get tough, but, you know, even as hard as it gets, it's very temporary. Uh, the process goes like this. Um, when you are about to quit, it's the pre-quitting part, I recommend getting everything cigarette-related out of the house. Uh, tell everyone that you know that you're going to quit and find a buddy to support you. There are actually a lot of good hotlines, too. Most states have it um, so that you can call every time you're thinking about smoking and they'll remind you why you, you wanted to quit. Um, then you'll have your quit day, day one, and you'll probably find that it's easier than you expected. That's it's a good thing. With uh, nicotine withdrawal symptoms, they'll actually get worse or they'll peak somewhere between days two and four, so the side effect severity will increase for a couple of days. But after that, after day four, 
they'll plateau and slowly subside for the next three weeks. Um, after that point, you, your physical symptoms are over. Um, most people, you know, make it through that point with no problems going back to smoking because the physical symptoms actually remind them not to smoke. But there may be a few lingering physical symptoms, but it's very minimal at this point. And that's the point where people can get tricked. It's after, after week three. They think they're okay. They can go back to their normal routine of hanging out at bars or hanging out with friends that smoke, and they, and they forget. Don't fall into that trap. I call it the three-week hump. After that point, it's all mental. Your body's broken the addiction, but your mind hasn't. And psychologists say it takes up to 66 days to form a new habit. Uh, that's why I really recommend sticking to whatever your routine is. Uh, it could be physical activity, like walking or working out, doing breathing exercises, yoga, drinking quick tea, or whatever product you've chosen. And uh, really stick to it so that you form those new healthy habits and be very disciplined about it for about nine full weeks. All right, Matthew, so where can our folks and our listeners be able to contact you either online or offline and get more information on Quick Tea? Sure. Uh, Quick Tea is available. Um, you can find the website at www.quittea.com, Q-U-I-T-T-E-A. All of my contact information is on there. And if you want to try Quick Tea, it's available for sale online or in health food stores across the country. It's now time for our conclusion tip on eHealth Radio, brought to you by eDrugStore.md, the Internet's leading FDA-approved online medication facilitator. Matthew, do you have a tip for our listeners that would help them have quitting success? Sure. I actually have two quick tips. Avoid places where people are smoking and avoid alcohol. I hear from a lot of people that it's extremely difficult to quit if they're around people that smoke all day. Um, so if you have a smoking area at work, avoid it. Avoid bars where people are smoking. Um, I suggest going out. Instead of going out drinking, go to the gym because you'll look better and you'll feel better. And avoid alcohol because drinking completely destroys your resolve to remain smoke-free. I've talked to people that say even months later, drinking alcohol can be the trigger that leads them to start smoking again. So be very careful with it. Very interesting. Well, Matthew, thanks so much for taking the time to be with us here on eHealth Radio. Thank you for having me. And that was the creator of the popular natural stop smoking aid, Quit Tea, Matthew Buckland, and this is Eric Michaels. And you've been listening to eHealth Radio brought to you by eDrugStore.md. We thank you for listening, and until next time, enjoy. <laughs>